वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू द सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ डॉग मंत्रास कॉमन के नाइन मिस बिहेवियर्स टूडे विल बी फॉलोइंग अप विद द लास्ट वीडियो दैट वी डिस्कस्ड ऑन बैड लीश एटिकेट्स सो टूडे द फॉलो अप विल बी अबाउट लीश रिएक्टिविटी टूवर्ड्स अदर ह्यूमन्स अदर वहीकल्स एंड अदर डॉग्स ओके सो नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इन लीश रिएक्टिविटी अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स डॉग्स आर रिएक्टिव बट वाई दे आर रिएक्टिव और दे आर अग्रेसिव वाई दे आर अग्रेसिव दिस इज ऑल नथिंग बट एन आउटकम you know it's an outcome of a problem the problem is not the reactivity or aggression it's probably fear it's probably dominance and why even that dominance and fear happens because lack of structure because the dog doesn't have a job to do so now how do you give a job to a dog on the walk a lot of times we go on the walk and the dog is randomly walking picking up on scents trying to run here and there and you know go after other dogs the second job he tries to do is claim his space and kind of guard his space so then how do you break it how do you make it happen so when we use leash guidance when we kind of correct the dog with the leash and give him the right guidance to keep him following us the job that we give him is of following on the leash darling you send me i know you send me so yeah we're going wind bahut aa raha hai awaaz acche se record hoga ki nahi but hoping So we're going inside one of a terrier mix, and he's got a lot of reactivity issues towards dogs. So both aggressive are dogs' side, humans' side also have insecurity. Hai thodi si. So I've been working with them for a week, like one session. Who are they've been working on their dog for a week? Now let's see the progress. Okay. Hi, Ankit. Ha, see. बट वो उसके पहचान के डॉग्स हैं सो नॉट एन इशू बट गुड हाउ इज द प्रोग्रेस विद द लीश इट्स वेरी गुड ओके ओनली लाइक फ्यू इंस्टेंसेस एंड देयर द हार्ट रेट इज ओके ओके अदरवाइज ही इज वेरी ही इज डूइंग गुड ही इज डूइंग गुड नाइस नाइस एंड हाउ द स्ट्रक्चर इज गोइंग ऑन सो वी आर टेकिंग हिम द प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर्ड वर्क इज गोइंग ऑन ग्रेट 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 आई एम टेकिंग हिम मोर हम्म हम्म आई डू इट यस्टरडे ओके ओके ही वाज डूइंग डूइंग फाइन ओके Right. Uh, so what you'll do is uh, you'll take him ahead, and with this one only. So for for a while, so he can just you know capture if there is some reactivity or something bahar. Now these dogs though they, yeah. But even the way he plays, na, that is what. Uh, so that can get him into a trouble in a pack of dogs. This type of play. So, <laughs> so basically what is happening is he's playing in a very dominant way, right? So be this. All these guys are a little submissive. See the tails and all. See. Yeah. Yeah. If there is tension in it, then they might get into a fight. So yeah, that's what's happening. 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 So yeah, that's what's happening Can you just run across him suddenly? Nah, he's doing good. He's doing good, yeah. That's what I was telling them, and we were capturing that reactivity and aggression. पहली बार दो different चीज़ हैं. Now aggression, when we talk about aggression, it's like he wants to go and attack. attack 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 right now he tries to fend off people because he gets a little unsure about it he gets insecure about it so remember the last time i said in the last video that there are three things you have to follow so now how are you going to guide the dog again remember the right tool for your dog sleep lead or a martingale the right positioning the moment the position of the leash goes all the way on the top it's easier for you to control the dog's head now remember dogs learn from nose first eyes and then ears remember this is like the generic pattern for everyone to understand the nose is first so if you control the nose you're going to control the dog in any environment so when you when you're putting a leash on the neck of the dog top most part of the neck okay the position is very important so that you don't hurt the dog okay so when when it's on the top most part what you're doing is you're asking the dog to put his head up once the head is up the nose is not picking up on different scents it's not getting into a conflicted mode because when you let your dog sniff everywhere he's going to pick up on scents but are you going to let your dog pick up scents and lead you to it no right okay. see now this one uh snice 
loosen up the leash. Don't don't keep it tight when he's sniffing. So you don't want to create that tension. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what. And he's upper say he's a very submissive one, super submissive. But why you don't want this tension to happen? Is if that this tension to this excited dominant behavior, he might get triggered and he might try to lash out, right? No, usually I'll let it yeah. go. Though. Yeah, yeah. Always while sniffing, remember. Just be alert. Ki in case agar you can pull him back, right? No, no that is that's just stop it. That this thing will become more natural behavior for it. No. Okay. So I'll I'll tell you what happened. So what happened is I I told you na no, stop there. Yeah. He went that way, and he took those two steps. You saw what happened. Yeah. He went essay essay with that mm. head up and all. Yeah. So he was already giving you that signal that he is going for a challenge. Mm. With the other submissive one, the dog was submissive. Mm. This one was still standing like this. Piche tail ghum raha tha. Right. So you don't want that conflict to happen. Relax. Ah ah. Relax. Okay. Good boy. Yes. Right. So what I do is I just distract him a little from that side. So abhi kya hua? that guy is super excited yeah. right excitement is it leads to arousal in dogs arousal leads to dominance because they have to and it's he is also a male i think yeah, so yeah he intact male hai wo bhi yeah. and he he <laughs> came with that and a lot of people what happens they don't understand ki kya chal raha and they also like oh let him say hi let him say hi aise ho jata hai so first you have to teach neutrality to a reactive dog then once he is little little calmer then you introduce him to other dogs With that energy, and then with dominant dogs, see it's a trait. ठीक है एक trait है वो. You cannot like just take away that personality from someone, right? अभी you have a personality, you have a personality. What we can do is we can manage it, we can control it, we can tone it down, right? So like sensitivity, sensitivity in dogs you cannot end it. No way you cannot. If anyone tells you you can end it, that's the time you have to change that professional. Be it veterinarian, be it some dog professional, be it someone. You cannot break sensitivity. You don't want that, right? Why do you need that? Unnecessary. So you can manage sensitivity and you can create everything in a positive manner. So with that one, you saw what happened with the boxer with that one tug. See, like right now is. So what I want him to do is keep. They go leash loose. Hey, relax, relax. He's under training, so he's under training, so keep him at bay. Relax, relax. Yes. Relax. Relax. That's why we keep it all the way on the top, right? So when something like this happens, you do that and you release, right? Understanding? Yeah. Right. Now over here, you cannot say that it's his fault because even after telling, even after making him understand, and he's seeing something is happening, and he, logo ko hota hai wo thoda sa kya chal raha hai dekhte. So right now he got too overstimulated. So again, like that sensitivity kicks in. Reactivity, kya hota? It happens in sensitive dogs. Yeah. So even in sensitive humans, like people are some some people are sensitive. So, thoda sa uh, violence dekhenge, thoda blood dekhenge, so they get triggered, right? Yeah. It's like that. So for him, that was too much. That lab, that acha in the, all those three dogs that we met. Okay. So he behaved a little better than usual. Yeah. yeah. The boxer became a little too much for him. A little more challenging for him. It was like direct risk. And plus, why? We are standing at a spot. थोड़ा सा motion रहता तो. So see, like I said, the sessions that we do, it's not a quick fix. I show you the possibility. Yeah. You turn it into a reality by practicing it. Because it's in your hand. If someone says, दे दो हम करके उसको लेके आते, he's not a mechanic yeah. battery or something to आप ये जो charge कर दो और आपको दे दो. It's a life, right? You're dealing with a life right now. So you have to think that way. So if you have your own kid, what would you do, right? कुछ लोग आ बोर्डिंग में भेज दो करके आएगा बट वॉट अबाउट पेरेंटिंग टीचिंग तो सीख लिया पेरेंटिंग का क्या राइट बैट जो थिंग नाउ लेट्स सी दर इज अ डॉग सो लेट्स लेट्स सी हाउ इट गोज नाउ इफ इट्स अ डोमिनेंट वन ही आईदर ट्राई टू गो विद दैट और ही बैक ऑफ एंड स्टार्ट बैकिंग और ट्राई टू पाउंस एटलीस्ट इधर उसका इंटेंसिटी ऑटोमेटिक कम था एंड प्लस दैट करेक्शन Perfect. 
and that's one and relax. So what we do is when we use the right amount of leash guidance, the right amount of leash pressure, which is the technical term, but of course I've started using to call it as leash guidance because when we talk about leash pressure, people think that you have to put a lot of pressure, which is not true. You just have to guide the dog. One tug, release. Tug, tug, release. It's like a split second correction and release. But in this one huge disclaimer for all of you if you really have a serious reactivity issue if you have an aggression issue with your dog and you feel that you might end up choking your dog this thing is not for you to follow do it only with a professional's help don't try to do yourself at home okay this is only for people who are at the basic level whose dogs are just pulling a little bit here and there so they can try it out but for people whose dogs pull really hard who are really reactive or aggressive it's not for them to follow it but this is just like a possibility for them because what we see a lot of time is people lose hope they think my dog has become 10 years old or 3 years old or 15 years old and he cannot go back to normal but the reality is the dog can go back to normal it's just that you have to change yourself you have to change in your in your guidance you have to be a consistent leader you have to be a calm confident leader right so when you're going to do that this video is going to show you the possibility that every dog is is being able to walk properly on the leash okay so if you have really serious issue please have a professional's help and don't try to do it at uh, don't try to do it yourself at home okay coming back to the topic when you do the leash guidance in a correct way what you're going to do is you're going to keep your dog focused on you now when i talk about structured walks when you structure your walk where you give him a break point and a walk point during the break point the dog can sniff rest drink water probably not a lot though but sniff and rest right and the walk pattern when you walk the dog you are supposed to walk the dog he's supposed to follow you so how the mind is being engaged he's in a following mode he has to control all the impulses in the surroundings so he has to control other dogs he has to control other humans he has to control other an animals vehicles whatever it is so when the impulse is controlled your dog is being tired physically and he is getting engaged mentally with you and that's how you're bonding also on a different level where the trust and respect is increasing right so remember to follow this remember to make sure that you follow leash guidance if you don't understand what leash guidance is you all can dm us you all can put down it in, in the comments you can let us know how your how you walk your dog basically in the comment section okay thank you for watching the video guys don't forget to subscribe us and have a great day ahead stay tuned with us tell me how does it feel living that good life Never ever really have to think twice about Who you step on, you'll just pay the break away Send them the bill when you can today Let's talk about making it where everybody's chasing it Like their minds are made up or some would say brainwash Pay attention to the chaos Cause it's too simple to get lost Tell me what does it mean once you reach the top Heard the fall's real bad, is it worth it to you?